Welcome back, Griddle Cookie and more. It's cold as hell outside, two degrees. Driving home from work tonight. Uh, so anyways, it's dinner time. Uh, we're gonna do some, uh, some grilled cheese action. Uh, and uh, my sister, she got me a few items here that I wanna incorporate in it. So uh, they came over uh, early for exchange gifts and stuff last week. This is uh, Thursday before Christmas. So a lot of you probably are experiencing the same cold, some colder, some maybe not as cold. But that's it, so let's, uh, let's check out the ingredients here uh, for my grilled cheese. So when I think about grilled cheese, I mean grilled cheese to me is just uh, two pieces of cheap white bread, some margarine probably, buttered it up with margarine, and some American cheese. So, And I know grilled cheese today, it's all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's more like a sandwich, but they call it a grilled cheese still. Uh, anyway, so, Mine's gonna be more true to the grilled cheese fashion. Uh, I'm not gonna add too much extra to it besides cheese and a few things, so. Anyways, let's check out the ingredients. All right, so the first thing my sister got me is, uh, got me this uh, big old loaf of sourdough bread. Uh, she said it's pretty amazing, local bakery where she lives. So we got that. We're doing four kinds of cheese. I got some uh, Provel cheese, that's the St. Louis cheese there. I got some smoked Gouda, I got some white cheddar, and I got some sharp cheddar. Uh, another thing she gave me was this QP mayonnaise, which I've never tried before. I've seen people use it on uh, other YouTube videos. They like it, so we're going to be incorporating that in. And then the other item she got me is, let's hold this up here, bacon salt, which she made herself. So if I get the recipe, I'll try to put that in the description and there how to make some bacon salt. So that's the ingredients there. We're going to get that all incorporated in my grilled cheese here. We're gonna be using the old Blackstone uh, griddle since it's two degrees outside. I don't wanna be outside in the cold or down the garage where it's somewhat cold. Um, and we got that set at 350. So that's it for that. So let's get back to getting this sandwich prepped up. All right, let's get this going on. Uh, so first thing we do, we wanna cut us some bread here. I'm also gonna use the sourdough and uh, we're gonna make another video here uh, uh, doing some uh, little twists on the French toast variation with it. Uh, but I want to get some good slices on there, so we're going to cut, because I want a big chunk for my uh, French toast, so we're going to go ahead and cut it right here. And then we need to make, which I may need a bigger knife here. This is some big old bread here. And I want to try to make me a uh, four uniform slices here. All right, beautiful. We're gonna save these chunks here for some French toast. All right, so I got my four big old, it's gonna be a nice size grilled cheese here. So I got my four big old slices here. So normally I'm a big proponent of butter over mayonnaise, uh, you know, to put on the bread to grill it on. I know a lot, a lot of people like doing mayonnaise, but we're gonna do mayonnaise, but we're gonna do a twist to it. Now we're gonna do the QP mayonnaise. We're gonna add the bacon salt to it. So let's get this mayonnaise up in the bowl here. Get a nice little portion there. We're gonna add our bacon salt to it. All right, let's add some bacon salt. Start with that right there. Let's get that mixed up. All right, I think I'm gonna need some more here. I got some pretty big pieces of bread, so let's shoot that in there and add some more. Some more bacon. All right, looks pretty good there. Got that bacon in there. We're gonna put that on the outside of the bread toast that bad boy up. So let's get that slathered on there. And since it got bacon in it, let's, we're not gonna hold back. We're gonna slather that up on there. Beautiful. Oh man, look at that. Look at that with that bacon. Now that's beautiful right there. All right, we're gonna get the rest of this uh, buttered up here. 
and then we'll uh, be back. Well, not buttered, but should I say mayonnaise up, bacon mayonnaise up, and then we'll be back to build these up, get them on the griddle, and give them a try. All right, it's time to get this bad boy cooking. So let's get a couple bottom slices down here. Some big old bread, we're gonna go a long ways. Let's hit up our cheese. We'll start out with some, uh, some regular sharp cheddar here. Beautiful. A little white cheddar. Figure with some bacon salt. Cheddar is going to be good to go with some bacon salt. There'll be some cheesy goodness here. All right. A little smoked gouda because another thing I love with bacon is gouda. And some nice creamy Provel, not a whole lot. This is a good old St. Louis cheese right here. On, found on St. Louis pizza. And great on sandwiches too. If you're not from St. Louis, you may hate it. All right, beautiful. Oh, look at that, look at that. All right, there we go. We got them bad boys going on there. Let them cook, get browned up. Give them a flip here. So once they get nice and uh, brown and ready to flip, we'll be back. Check out that nice bacony, mayonnaise-y, crusty side. Oh, I almost forgot. I was gonna put some, uh, some jalapenos on my half. The wife don't want them. So I just got some pickled jalapenos here. <laughs> Put a few on there, not a lot. There we go. Just kick it up a notch there. All right, beautiful. All right, see you when it's... All right, I think we're ready to give it a flip here. Oh yeah. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Been some fails in this video. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Now that's beautiful. Look at that crust on her. Oh my God, that's gonna be so good. And get that, that little cheese there, burnt cheese. Mm, beautiful. All right, I think we're good to go here. Let's take a peek. Try not to have any more fails. Let's flip that bad boy back over. Oh yeah, looking good. All right. I'm gonna get mine off of here and we're gonna get it cut up and chug it out. We'll cut there. All right, look at that cheesiness, goodness. Yeah, I probably could have loaded some more cheese on there, but however, got them jalapenos, that nice bacony crust. All right, let's give this thing a try real quick here. Then I can get on eating the rest of it for dinner. All right, that's good grilled cheese. That bacon salt on there, that's that little extra, little extra kick, a little bakiness on it. And then, uh, of course, the blended cheeses, and I had a few jalapenos, so they had a little spice on there, so. Pretty good gr uh, grilled cheese there, you know? Uh, and the thing is, grilled cheese, you can just make it up however you want, throw whatever you want on it. Hell, they throw meat and everything on there, and it's called a grilled cheese. So, as long as it's got cheese, and it's got some bread with some butter or mayonnaise on it, that's, that's grilled cheese, so. That's it. Thanks for uh, stopping by and watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Hit that bell, get all the notifications. Like the video, share the video, all that good stuff. So until next time, I'm out.
Peace.